Saying today is a day where you kind of just wanted to relax, do something indoors, maybe watch some Netflix, something like that, because uh, it really was not the most gorgeous, sunny sort of day. But if you like the clouds like I kind of do, it also wasn't too bad. It was a bit cool in the 60s, kind of humid still, and we are looking at those northeast winds, which will really increase late tomorrow once we get that big cold front. And ahead of that front tomorrow, during the first part of the day, we are expecting some showers and thunderstorms, a few of which could be heavy and strong. Tomorrow, you can expect storms from the morning, we'll say through afternoon, ending perhaps around 3 p.m. So timing could still shift a bit, but it looks like it will taper off in the afternoon and then leave us with a much chillier evening, then a much colder Monday, and then the first frost of the season on Tuesday morning, and even a light freeze north of the lake. Temperatures right now in the 60s, and as we check out our current radar scene, you can see some light showers pretty much all over the place. Now, some uh, model, uh, models have had the showers over us through the day and we've kind of had the off and on rain for many spots. But as I showed you, our rain totals really haven't been that high. It's mainly been just light showers and moving into this evening. I think maybe a light rain jacket or something like that might be good because we'll still have some sprinkles and some increasing showers, especially late tonight as this storm system that's taking shape begins to move toward us. So we will see the low pressure riding up to the east northeast and actually how strong the storms are early tomorrow will be determined by how far far inland that low is able to make it before it reaches us. So if it stays a little farther south, that would keep us out of what we call that warm sector where there's warm, unstable air out ahead of the front. So that would be a little bit of a better scenario as far as not so much strong storm potential. But if it does make it a bit farther inland, then we will be looking for perhaps a few isolated severe storms. And that would be again mainly morning through about midday. So this evening temperatures continue in the 60s and our rain chance just hangs on through the night. So we're not going to see a big end to the rain that we're seeing at this point as far as the scattered showers and the light rain goes. Lows tonight north of the lake about 59, south of the lake low 60s, and we'll probably see the showers increasing, especially by dawn and daybreak tomorrow. And then our highs tomorrow only around 70, so it'll be a kind of cool, cloudy day stormy to start and then turning windy and chillier for the evening as we drop into the 50s and that cooler air begins to arrive with another shot of cool air moving in on Monday. So 7 a.m. tomorrow, let's move through our model here. You can see some showers and storms beginning to move in. We'll go to 10 a.m. This particular model run has some heavy storms right around New Orleans at that point, maybe 9, 10 o'clock, something like that. By noon and 1 p.m., some of the heaviest rain is shifting off to the east, perhaps, but still some showers could be left over for New Orleans and North Shore areas uh, by that time frame. And then 4 and 5 p.m., the rain is really tapering off, especially west, and then starting to move to the east for that drying trend. And then this is tomorrow night after sunset. Still cloudy, but turning much colder and windy. And then this is Monday morning. Note, we may start with some clouds, and it will be windy in the 40s for Monday morning. But here's another surge of cool air to bring us way down temperatures uh, in the upper 20s and 30s for early Tuesday. I wanted to point out tomorrow there is a marginal risk for severe storms, the main threats, either high wind gusts or maybe an isolated tornado. So we'll be watching for that closely. But overall, you can see the risk isn't extremely high. It's level one out of the five. And looking at how much rain, maybe one to three inches. Now, if a lot of that comes at once, that could cause some street flooding issues. But it, you can see that most of us will pick up somewhere between one and about three. So there will be some heavy storms. It just kind of depends on how quickly it all falls. And then Tuesday morning, we're looking for a light freeze north of the lake, protect your plants and pets there, frost even south of the lake. And it's been almost 300 days since we hit that kind of temperature. I have it at 37 in New Orleans. That was on February 7th. So the coldest for sure so far this season and certainly the coldest in a long time, several months. You can see Wednesday it still starts freezing north of the lake, but we do warm up with some more showers with another front on Thursday.